the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Special Report on 1.5 Degrees highlights the urgent need for rapid and far-reaching actions to limit the consequences of global warming. These consequences will bring about drastic and devastating changes to the lives of our people and communities. Climate-induced displacement is one of those challenges. We are seeing populations being forced to leave their homes as a result of extreme weather events or due to slow onset of changes that are gradually degrading their environment. Extreme weather events are projected to further intensify given the rapid increasing temperature trend we are on. This means our many communities living on coast zones, on low-lying areas and alluvial plains will be increasingly exposed to risks brought about by rising sea level frequent storm surges, constant inundation, saltwater contamination, and intense rainfall episodes. The need to create or to move to a safer environment is a very serious consideration for these vulnerable communities. <laughs> Pakana Tabola, Kimundungito to Kinayan Nango, Sakanira Ram, Baletanisa, Dobo Sarama in Naua. Nauango Nisa Nisa will live with Meson do Sarnaua. Naua a Sibita Sarana name me be valley with him, but in a way. Guided by Fiji's national climate change policy and other national frameworks, the development of the planned relocation guidelines build on specific strategies aimed at reducing the vulnerability of affected communities and enhance their resilience to the impacts of climate change and natural disasters. The guidelines provide a step-by-step -step framework of procedures to guide planned relocation in Fiji. Relocation is a relatively new measure to the effects of uh, climate change and one that is viewed as an option of last resort. And this is exactly why we're taking a national uh, approach to the issue of relocation. And this is really the underlying reason for the planned relocation guidelines. The Fijian government has taken uh, the initiative to develop a people-centered relocation guideline uh, that advocates for and plans and preempts uh, individual and community needs. This uh, proactive work ensures that when communities relocate within, within Fiji because of climate change, they do so in a way that uh, protects and upholds the rights and dignities of the people involved. The Climate Change and International Cooperation Division is mandated to coordinate all climate change activities in Fiji and is the lead agency in the development of the guidelines. The Fijian government has developed the planned relocation guidelines essentially to guide our efforts in the relocation processes. So I think you know for these reasons you know planned relocation guideline is, is very important. We've never had you know a document uh, of, of, uh, of this nature. And this is something, you know, we believe, you know, is a living document and something which will guide all our relocation efforts. Since 2016, the German Agency for International Cooperation has been supporting the development of the planned relocation guideline, including facilitating the transfer of experiences from two village relocation project sites in Narikoso and in Wadi Wadi. The relocation guidelines on planned relocation here in Fiji where we got two things to show. The one thing is our support over the years to the um, development of the relocation guidelines but also in practical terms you know Kandavu um, Narikoso village where we are supporting the actual implementation of a policy in order to see how it works. The National Relocation uh, Task Force was established in 2017 when we commence with the, the relocation of uh, uh, Narikoso in Kandavu, which is a GIZ project, funded project, and also Wadi Wadi in Lakemba. Uh, the National Relocation Task Force consists of uh, government agencies and NGOs that uh, are required to participate in the implementation of this project. The National Relocation Task Force will also be a component of the planned uh, relocation guideline. Uh, as I speak, uh, there is a planned relocation guideline which will um, uh, provide the, the direction 
and in an organized manner for these different stakeholders to come together and uh, implement these projects and also uh, for their resources, government resources to be used for this. Land relocation process will need to ensure that the values and rights of the Fijian people affected are protected and respected throughout. I must say that uh, relocation for Itoki communities is, is a very important issue. Um, it's important because people are moving from their traditional uh, sites to new sites. And um, the whole process uh, is both emotional as well as physical. Eh? So that's why we felt that it should be important for us to take a, an active role in it. So when we started on our strategy as an organization, we identified relocation as an adaptive measure. Okay, something that we had to acknowledge because a lot of the communities are actually located in low outline areas eh? uh, that are below sea level. So it's, it's uh, rational for us to look at relocation uh, in all of its capacity eh? and all of the issues had to be addressed. We acknowledge that whatever process that we had to implement had to be a very consultative process, but actually had to have ownership of the community that was going to be relocated. In Bonakanga, Ungandreva, Mew, Vietukuna, Vikenda, Bonua, and the Sotabam Becachico, Nabi Visun in Raki, Mevacate in Erposo, Nibisun in Raki, a candy, and Dundon Mendare the Boyal Matu, Mendavitur Linga Tagabata, Na Okoeng, one Lele Sara, Kiviko and Gassisara, and Lomani Coro. Mendan dua bata, mendan daga daga bata, mendan tosu bata, beli teni indah nereida, mungkin nak kena nanon tak boleh mungkin.